Sumatra on fire. Thousands of hectares of forest and bush are burning, creating thick, choking smog that is spreading far beyond Indonesia's borders. Airports are closed, and early on the economic consequences appear to be huge. But it's the effect on people's health that is most worrying. Hospitals are filled with people suffering from respiratory diseases. These are up 13 percent compared to last year. The doctors have only one word of advice, evacuate. An impossible task since millions of people live in the affected areas. People here are slowly but surely killed by the smoke, especially the elderly and people suffering from respiratory diseases. Small children and pregnant women run a huge risk. Budi Waman was diagnosed with lung cancer after living in the worst hit area all his life. He had to leave his village due to the smog. We common people don't know what to do anymore. We can only hope the government will finally do something. I cannot even talk about my future. They have to stop the fire now because all of us are suffering. Farmers and plantation companies have been caught deliberately setting their land on fire, the cheapest and fastest way to clear land. Indonesia has become the world's largest palm oil exporter in the past two decades. Much of the forest land was cleared using fire. For nearly two decades, people here every year during the dry season are breathing smoke-filled air. The government has failed to change the culture of land clearance and a punishment of 10 years in prison for arsonists is hardly ever enforced. In Riau, only three companies in the past 18 years have been brought to court for setting their land ablaze. The new forestry minister, who is heading an emergency task force, promises harsher actions. I apologize because we have to face this problem altogether. We tried very hard to stop the fires in Riau, but now they are burning in the south of Sumatra, and the haze goes everywhere. Let's do this together. Let's overcome it together. I'm monitoring events every hour. The government has announced that companies won't be allowed to operate anymore when their land is found to be on fire, deliberately lit or not. The worst cases will be blacklisted. Thousands of soldiers have been sent to Sumatra to battle the fires, but most of them are raging in peat several meters deep. It makes it almost impossible to extinguish the fires. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Riau, Sumatra.